Hi, I'm Austin. It's important to make sure your boots fit correctly. First thing to decide is your toe shape. This is a personal choice, and it depends on the style preference and how the boot feels when you have it on. The wider the toe, the less rubbing you'll feel from the sides of the boot. When you try on a boot, use the pull tabs and pull holes to help pull your foot into the boot. You might experience slight resistance coming from the arch area. This will cause a faint popping noise as your foot enters its resting place. This ensures that your boot fits snug and you'll not have excessive heel lift as you walk or ride. Once in the boot, your arch should experience a slight amount of pressure across the top of the foot. I mentioned before heel lift. That's a gap between the insole of the boot and your heel. Heel lift is caused by a slight amount of room in the arch and the throat part of the boot. This should not exceed more than an eighth of an inch. Remember that a little heel lift is necessary for a proper gait. To ensure the proper fit for my boots, I make sure that the widest part of the ball of my foot rests on the widest part of the outsole. Lastly, the toe area. I try to use a sideways thumb to help judge the distance between the tip of my toe and the end of the boot for a proper fit. Remember, everyone's toes are a different length, so it's always a good thing to have that sideways thumb distance from the tip of your toe to the end of the toe box. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, enjoy your boots.